Cape Grim on the northwest tip of Tasmania is said to have the cleanest air in the world. And every day, Chris and Jeremy head out of their office in Smithton to make for the Cape Grim baseline air pollution station. On most days, the weather is wild and woolly, a perfect setting for one of the remotest office jobs in the country. The station's been here for 30 years. We're sitting in the middle of the Roaring Forties. Our air basically comes from the Great Southern Ocean, where it's just been going round and round and round, not near any major towns or cities or sources of contamination. So these are uh, flasks that we fill up with air. There are other places in the world where we also collect baseline air data, but this is actually the cleanest. See, some of those places are in the Northern Hemisphere, the Northern Hemisphere is a lot dirtier. This is our main lab. And there's two of us. Between us, we manage to get through most of the stuff we have to do. We've got a set of routine chores that we do every day. Plus, nice rain. Cleanest rain in the world, apparently. We've got machines that need gas. We have to check the gas. If we've got water samples, we've got to collect. Filters. We're basically gathering data for scientists. A scientist will come up with a program, then he's got to get funding for it. Then they'll usually give it a fancy name. So I just write down the time. So our job is to collect good data. We have a uh, carbon-14 piece of apparatus here, which is a, another global cooperative. It's been done around the planet for many, many years. It's called a Rashig tube. Belongs in Frankenstein, straight from the set. The air runs through this tube. There's a weak solution of sodium hydroxide in there, which absorbs carbon dioxide from the air and ends up as that milky solution there. Once every two weeks, we uh, bottle that up and send it off to Germany. C14 is the stuff they use for carbon dating. So it basically provides that record of how much C14 is in the atmosphere at a certain point in time, which uh, they use for all sorts of things, one assumes. <laughs> But their most important job is bottling fresh air. Because we're trying to keep air which has been untainted by anything, we minimise the amount of pumping that's involved, so you can't just pump it into the tank. So to do it, we actually immerse the tank in a tank full of uh, liquid nitrogen, and it sucks air, cools the air down, liquefies it, sucks it into the bottle. So that's always pretty good fun, that is. Lots of liquid nitrogen, bubbly stuff, fuming. I'll show you. This is basically Earth's reference for what the atmosphere was in the past. So we only ever take them when we're sure the atmosphere is in, you know, as clean as it can get. Not always what you would consider a comfortable place to work, because sometimes out there it's cold, it's hailing, and the hail's coming in at 60 knots. And yeah, when it, when it gets wild out there, it's, it's definitely keep your head down. But uh, I am actually very happy with this job. I've been eyeing it off for the last four or five years. So now I'm here, they are going to have to dislodge me. 